Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. Tired of always being passed over by his older brother, Greg decides to take revenge and collects incriminating evidence to blackmail him. Today we will recap the story of the 2022 movie, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules. Greg Hefley is a 12-year-old boy who is always tormented by his older brother, Roderick. In his diary, the boy vents about never being able to count on his brother, because Roderick devotes all his free time to his band, Loaded Diaper. Greg's dream is to be noticed by his brother and have a greater say in his life, but apparently this is not going to happen. Worst of all, in a few months, Roderick will leave with his band and Greg will have to fend for himself. Therefore, while he is at home, the boy intends to absorb all the knowledge of his older brother. That afternoon, Greg is playing video games when he receives the news that his parents are going away for the weekend to celebrate their wedding anniversary. When he hears this, the boy is desperate, because he doesn't want to spend two days alone with Roderick. His mother tells him that Manny will stay at grandma's during the trip and says that she has done some shopping at the supermarket for the boys. Immediately, Roderick gets up from the couch and asks her if she bought snacks, but Susan says no, because she refuses to buy junk food for her children. Instead, she gives them money to buy whatever they want over the weekend. Seeing Roderick exchanging fake bills for real money, Frank is intrigued and Susan explains that the boys get this money every time they do their chores and get good grades. Before leaving, Frank asks the boys to be responsible that weekend and not do anything he wouldn't do. Susan says that the dishes are already washed and asks them to put them away once they are dry. Minutes after his parents have left, Roderick gets up and states that they have only an hour to prepare the house before receiving the guests. The boy intends to throw a party that night, and to do so, he needs to convince Greg to be his accomplice. He then states that this will be the Hefley brothers' party and assures him that his colleagues will remember that night forever. Greg agrees to participate in the scheme, and Roderick advises him to invite his friends to help prepare the house. Since he has only one friend, the boy invites Rowley to help him while his brother goes to get the food. Roderick invites dozens of people to his party, and Rowley rings the doorbell. Upon opening the door, Greg is startled to see his friend dressed as if he were going to a children's birthday party. When Roderick shows up, he lays down on the couch while giving the coordinates for the two Goofies to arrange all the decoration. Minutes later, the house is finally ready and the drummer asks the boys to fetch another table that is stored in the basement. However, when the two friends go upstairs, they realize that they have been tricked. While they were in the basement, Roderick locked the door and intends to leave them trapped until the end of the party. Realizing that he has been tricked, Greg is furious and begins to punch the door, however, his brother turns up the sound and goes to attend to the guests. In an attempt to find out what is going on, Greg takes a screwdriver that was stored in the toolbox and removes the handle of the basement door. In this way, they can see everything that is happening on the other side and Greg stretches out his arm to try to unlock the door. When he realizes that he will not be able to open it, he decides to take some pictures to use as proof and to get revenge on his brother. The next morning, when one of the guests accidentally unlocks the door, the boys are startled to see all the mess and Rowley says he needs to go home. Seeing bodies scattered in every corner of the house, Greg looks for a way to get all the people out at once and turns on extremely loud music. Immediately, the guests wake up and Greg dances as he watches those slackers leave. He then goes to account with Roderick and says that when his parents get home the next day, he will tell them all about the party. Just then, Roderick receives a call from his mother and finds out that his parents are coming home. Manny has a stomach problem and Susan has to pick him up at grandma's house. Before hanging up the phone, the woman asks if the boys have put the dishes away and Roderick says he will do it soon. In just one hour, their parents will arrive home and the boy is desperate when he realizes that he will not be able to clean up in time by himself. He then begs Greg for help and asks for forgiveness for locking him in the basement. Roderick says that he will not screw up with his youngest again, and Greg takes advantage of his older brother's desperation to make some demands. He says that if he helps Roderick clean the house, he will have to start treating him as an equal. In addition, the boy will owe Greg some future favors. Having no other option, Roderick immediately accepts the conditions imposed by his brother and the two of them rush to organize the house, which is in chaos. Meanwhile, his parents have already picked up Manny with grandma and are returning home. While cleaning up, the pair find one of the guests sleeping inside the kitchen cupboard and kick him out of the house. Then they move on to the bathroom, where the greatest amount of dirt is concentrated, and in a few minutes they manage to leave the house spotless, except for one detail. Their parents are already arriving when the brothers notice a phrase written on the bathroom door. Greg tries to wipe the ink off, but realizes that it was written with a permanent marker. Overcome with adrenaline, Roderick decides to change the door and runs to the basement to get the necessary tools. They then take Roderick's bedroom door and replace it with the bathroom door. 
When the couple enters the house, they find the two brothers together in the living room. They try to act natural, as if nothing has happened, but the truth is that they are scared to death of being discovered. Suddenly, Frank, who is in the kitchen, starts screaming and complains that his children have not put away the dishes from the machine. The next day, Greg realizes that the relationship between him and his brother remains the same. As usual, Roderick is having fun while the younger one does all the work alone. Furious, the boy reminds his brother that he owes him and says that Roderick can start paying off the debt by clearing all the dry leaves from the yard. However, to get rid of doing all the work himself, Roderick decides to pay his brother with knowledge. He explains that filling the whole garbage bag with leaves and then going on to the next one is not a smart thing to do. The best thing to do is to put some dry leaves in one bag and then go on to the next one, since his mother pays 30 cents per bag collected. Roderick goes on to say that Greg's problem is that he tries too hard. What the boy needs to do is to lower his parents' expectations, so that they will be happy even when Greg does as little as possible. Another tip from Roderick is to his brother pretend not to know how to do things. As this will free him from a lot of unnecessary work. Before teaching more of his tricks, Roderick makes a deal with his brother official. If Greg doesn't tell them anything about the party, he promises to teach him everything he knows. On Monday, Rowley shows up at Greg's house to take him to school. The boy is surprised to see the house so clean and this arouses Frank's suspicion. Like every day, Roderick spends the entire afternoon rehearsing in his room to play in the loaded diaper, however, this time Greg disrupts his brother's rehearsal. He asks Roderick to teach him something new, but the boy states that he will only give his brother one teaching a week. The boy is training to perform with his band in the school's talent show, and Greg says he will also participate in the competition by being an assistant in Rowley's magic show. The boy is not at all excited to participate, but his mother makes him do it. Greg asks his brother to teach him to play the drums, and Roderick is surprised to discover that his youngest has a talent for music. Suddenly, Bill Walter, the lead singer of Loaded Diaper, appears in the room along with the rest of the band members, and for the first time, Roderick allows his brother to attend a rehearsal. Greg is happy about this, as he feels he is strengthening his bond with his older brother. When Frank gets home from work, he goes to take a shower for dinner and realizes that the bathroom door has stopped locking. He then gathers his family and asks the boys what happened to the door. When pressed, Greg claims that something happened on Friday night and Roderick goes into despair, believing that his brother will rat him out. However, contrary to what he imagined, Greg says that he went to the bathroom and accidentally slammed the door too hard. According to him, this is probably why the door stopped locking. Now that the mystery has been solved, Susan reports that she and Frank will be traveling again next weekend, since they didn't get to enjoy anything last time. This time, however, the boys will not be alone at home. They will spend the entire weekend with their grandfather. Upon hearing this, Greg is dismayed, for his grandfather lives in a condominium where only elderly people live. However, Roderick can't wait to get there, and his brother soon realizes that he is planning something. Upon arriving at the apartment, the boys' first activity with their grandfather is to play board games. Roderick is excited to participate in the game, but Greg can't wait until the weekend is over. After drinking a glass of milk, Roderick starts laughing desperately at the letter Greg read and ends up spitting all the milk on his younger brother's pants. At that moment, his grandfather goes to the bathroom, and the boy begins his investigation. After searching for a few minutes, he finds a box full of fake bills, which his mother uses to reward the boys for doing their chores. In the face of this deceit, Greg understands the real reason Roderick wants to visit his grandfather and intends to share the money. However, his brother gives him only $10. With wet pants, the boy now needs to change and Roderick advises him to use one of the shared bathrooms in the condominium, since his grandfather is likely to take his time getting out of the apartment bathroom. Embarrassed at being caught by the old people, Greg doesn't notice that he has entered the ladies' room and only realizes his mistake when three old ladies show up while he is changing clothes in the stall. At this point, the boy gets desperate and accidentally flushes the toilet. When Merle looks down, he finds a pair of men's pants lying on the floor and Greg is unmasked. The old ladies surround the cabin and the boy tries to escape by going under the door, but the trio of old ladies goes after him. When Greg comes out of the bathroom wearing only his underwear, he becomes a laughingstock among the elderly people in the room, and his situation gets worse and worse. When he sees the old ladies chasing the boy, the supervisor triggers the condo security, and Greg must escape both the guards and the crazed old women. After a long saga of pursuit, the boy manages to distract them and returns to his grandfather's apartment. Later, while they are watching TV, his grandfather gets up from his chair and Greg takes the opportunity to look at the channels. At this moment, the boy is startled to discover that his little adventure has been included in the news. 
Luckily, no security camera recorded Greg's appearance and he manages to turn off the TV before his grandfather returns to the couch. The next day, when Rowley shows up at his house for them to go to school together, Greg discovers that he forgot to do his science project and rushes to ask his brother for help. However, as usual, Roderick ignores him and Greg uses the photos he took on the day of the party to blackmail him. In order to prevent his secret from coming out, the boy gives his younger brother an old science project that he did and claims that it was his best schoolwork. However, Roderick says that the deal they made does not cover that kind of service and charges $10 to give his masterpiece to his brother. When the two friends arrive at school, Rowley asks to look at the project, and in that instant Greg discovers that he has been passed over once again. Despite saying that it was his best work, the boy got an F on the presentation. When he gets home, his brother is in the middle of a rehearsal with the other members of the loaded diaper, and Greg interrupts them to take issue with Roderick. The young man insists that this, in fact, was his best work, since all the others were much worse. Furious, Greg asks for his money back, but his brother refuses to give him a refund. So, the boy says that this time he will really show the pictures to his mother and Roderick changes his mind. After retrieving his money, Greg comes out of the basement and bumps into his mother, causing his pictures, as well as the sandwiches she has just prepared, to splatter all over the floor. Susan finds out about the party and tells Frank everything. Together, the couple decides that Roderick will be grounded for a month and Greg will be grounded for three weeks for helping his brother cover it up. As a result, the drummer will not be able to participate in the talent show with his band, but Greg will still be forced to participate, because Rowley, his best friend, is counting on him. While doing the dishes as part of their punishment, Roderick states that he is disappointed in his brother. Despite having supported and trusted him, Greg has turned him in. The boy tries to explain himself, saying that it was all just an accident, but his brother refuses to believe him. A few weeks later, Rowley and Greg do the last rehearsals of their magic show before the performance. The boy says that his brother's band has found another drummer to replace him, so the chances of Rowley winning the competition are very small. Suddenly, Roderick shows up and reports that he has found Greg's diary on the kitchen table. While looking through the drawings, the boy finds out what happened during the weekend at his grandfather's house and takes some pictures. Now he intends to send them to all the students at the school, believing that Greg will become a laughingstock. However, the boy manages to steal the cell phone from his brother's hand, and Rowley takes the device. But he accidentally presses the send button and spreads those pictures to all the students. The next morning when he shows up at school, Greg is expecting the worst reactions, but for some reason everyone treats him like a hero. Later, the boy discovers that what really happened was a big misunderstanding. While the students were arguing among themselves, a version was created that Greg infiltrated a bingo game and stole the prize. He was then chased by the guards and managed to escape with all the money. Although this was not the true story, Greg was in no hurry to get his facts straight, because this new version of the story made him look like a legend. In this way, the boy has become popular among his classmates, but he knows that this popularity will not last for long. Once Greg takes the stage as Rowley's assistant, everyone will see him as a loser again. When the family arrives at the school, Frank asks everyone to get out of the car to mark their place while he looks for a parking space. However, before Greg could enter the auditorium, Bill goes to talk to him. The boy tells him that he has learned that the boy has been chased by the guards and claims that he is very angry. The members of Loaded Diaper then invite him to be the band's new drummer, because they know that Roderick has taught him a few things. Greg initially refuses the invitation, but changes his mind when he discovers that Larry, the substitute drummer, is willing to be Rowley's assistant, since he is also passionate about magic shows. The talent show begins and Greg goes behind the curtain to prepare. Before he begins his performance, Bill introduces the new drummer of the loaded diaper and Greg's family goes into shock, especially Roderick. Seeing all the students applauding Greg on stage, the boy begins to cry and leaves. Then Greg leaves the show and goes to talk to him. The boy claims that he didn't do it just to get back at Roderick for stealing his diary. More than anything, Greg wanted his brother to be proud of him. At this point, Roderick apologizes for reading Greg's diary and they make up. The boy knows that it is completely normal for brothers to fight, but admits that he went overboard. Greg then returns his brother's drumsticks and they return to the auditorium. Although he knows that his parents will be furious to see him violate the punishment, Roderick is willing to deal with the consequences and goes to play with his band. Excited, Susan gets on stage and starts dancing, becoming the most talked about topic in the school for the next few days. Even after all this turn of events, Loaded Diaper did not win the talent show. Instead, the trophy went to Rowley Jefferson and his assistant, Larry. But even though they didn't win the competition, Roderick and his band gained a new audience. 
They have received hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube, and all thanks to Susan. After facing all of these challenges together, the two brothers have become closer than ever and have earned a place on Grandpa's photo wall. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.